Hey there, Gypsies. We've got more brand new product arrivals from CHA Summer 2011. These are in our warehouse and are starting to ship, so we thought it would be fun to show you some of those and give you a little bit of inspiration for how you can use them. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the new photo shadow box tray, this super cute um, mini, it's a little mini solo shadow box tray. We're also going to be looking at some of the trims that we've designed to embellish these trays. So we have brand new hangers, some new hooks. We even have a really darling um, apothecary dome, as well as some amazingly fun, fabulous, and very vintage new rulers. So let's get started. We're going to um, kind of walk you through some of this. The first up is our new photo shadow box tray. You can see this one is a beautiful tray. It's large um, and we designed this with photos in mind. So this is going to be one that you could design a little family photo gallery in and looks great displayed on a fireplace mantle, hung on a wall. We even have a brand new easel that we have released. Um, looks like this that you can display this shadow box tray on. Um, this easel is really fun. It can hold any of the shadow box trays that we make as well as maybe a framed photograph or you could display some 12 by 12 layouts on it. But this is a great little item to have around your house. There's so many things that you can do with it. Um, but getting back to the tray, this is what one of those trays looks like when it is not filled. Um, and I know it can be a little bit daunting when you're looking at these shadow box trays and thinking, okay, how am I possibly gonna fill this? This one is very, very simple. The compartments that we designed are sized to fit standard size photographs. So for example, this one would fit a five by seven photo. This is a four by six. This one's a four by six, three and a half by five. And these are wallet size photos. So it's very easy to just take um, a family photo session and just pop different photographs into these openings. In fact, on the back of the product, um, in the package, you'll see there is a little photo guide here to help you plan what you would put in these openings. And what's also very fun about this tray is this can be done horizontally, it could be done vertically. You could turn this tray any way you want to. Um, whichever way you like it best, it can be turned because there's no right way. There's no up, there's no down. It doesn't matter how you do it. So that's a lot of fun as well. So if we take a closer look at this one that's been finished, um, you can see there are a lot of fun elements that go into creating a shadow box. Um, we started, of course, with some really great photos. So we've got photos lining most of the openings here, and then you can see we've just layered different types of embellishments over those photos. Um, so some of the fun Seven Gypsies products you'll see in here are the hardware charms we've got. This is a really fun tray label holder. These are really cool. You can see the way that they're designed, they just snap right on that little section that divides the compartments and you can do a little label in that. Um, over here on this side, we've got uh, the vintage ruler. We've also got an optical lens. These are both items that you can get from Seven Gypsies. So there are a lot of fun things that you can use. Oh, and these two I'm spotting um, some of our uh, display trim studs. These are really fun as well. So lots of fun things that you can use from Seven Gypsies or you can um, use your own findings to fill these different shadow boxes. But this is the, uh, again, the new photo shadow box tray. Another very fun one that I showed you first that we're really excited about is this little mini. It's called the Solo Shadow Box Tray and you can see it is a much smaller design. Um, it measures about six by six and we designed this to be very, very simple to do. So if you're just getting started in shadow boxing, this is a great one to try um, because it doesn't take much to get it finished. This opening here is um, perfect for a four by six photo. So you can just um, drop a four by six photo in there. And then you have these three little compartments at the bottom that you can customize depending on you know, what you're making your project for. Um, you can see this one was done very quickly. It just has the four by six photo in there, a little bottle that's got some sand from the beach where these photos were taken, the family's initials, and then just a couple of small photographs and trim that with some of our new um, corners and these little square hooks that I'm gonna show you in just a minute, and you've got a really cute tray. Now these are really fun to give as gifts, 
gifts as well because they're small, they're simple, but they're also very, very um, nice gifts because this is a beautiful wood painted frame. So they look really cute displayed in homes. Um, in fact, we've been getting lots of ideas from gypsies everywhere for different types of gifts and projects that they would do with these. This is a really beautiful one that was done for a wedding um, that it's just really, again, very simple, just a four by six photo, some elements from the wedding, some lace and flowers and a few of our decorative corners and you can see you've got a completed project. But we've also heard that we thought these would make great teacher gifts and uh, Christmas gifts. So we're excited to be releasing these just in time for the holidays. But this is what the solo tray looks like when it's unfinished. Um, it comes in black and white and you can see you could turn this any way as well. So if you wanted to do a horizontal photo in here, or excuse me, a vertical photo in here, you could. You could even turn it this way. You could have these running down this side. So you really could do this any direction that you wanted. Um, and there's another you know, cute photo of that little um, wedding one on the package and a few different ideas if you're looking for some inspiration for how to use those. But again, very, very fun, very simple, and a great starter tray if you're just getting into shadow boxes and trays. Um, we also released a new product. These are called square hooks, and these ones are great for hanging things with dimension in your trays. I'm gonna show you how they work, because I know they don't look like much in packaging, but once you use them, you'll wanna keep these on hand if you're making trays. So I'm gonna take one out of the package here, and I'll actually, Pull this back in, add something to this. Now you'll see on the back of this that there is a little white um, coating on there. We're just going to go ahead and peel that off because it actually has adhesive that's been applied to the back. So very easy now for me to just take this and stick it inside my tray. Um, I'm just sticking it there. You can see we've also got them on the front of the trays here. But I've stuck this one there just using the adhesive and now I can take just a little charm and I can hang it on that square hook very easily. And I now have something with some dimension that's hanging inside my tray. How fun is that? So simple. So this makes it very easy to hang things on, on the tray. We also have some new mini round hangers. Again, these aren't quite as exciting when you see them in the packaging, but if we look at them up close, you can see they're actually really cute. They're a little spiral with a little hanger hook on the top. So you could hook these to that little square hook that I just showed you and actually clip something in. In fact, on the back of the package here, you can also see some ideas for how you might use those little spirals on a project. So very, very cute, um, lots of fun, and adds kind of that decorative element to your projects. We also have some new apothecary domes. Now we already sell apothecary bottles, so these are a little bit different. I'm gonna show you why. They're actually, um, made to be displayed like this. So it's a really fun to create a little vignette. Um, and you can see the way that these are designed. There's actually a little bit of a dome there. So you would set it on a project on its cork and then have this darling little dome so you can create um, little vignettes inside there. We've done little mini terrariums. Um, if you just decided to do something like that on a necklace, it kind of looks like a test tube. So very, very cool. And of course they go really well inside the little shadow boxes because the shadow boxes are a little bit deeper. They can hold things that have dimension like these bottles on their little ledges. So look how cute that looks. You could just line up a little row of these. Um, same thing with the photo shadow box tray. It is a shadow box, so it's a little bit deeper, so I can put these um, little bottles on the ledges of those as well. So super cute, we think those are a lot of fun. And last, but certainly not least, we've got some awesome vintage rulers. We, these come in four different styles. I've got a couple of them here to show you. These are um, called surveyor, so surveyor rulers um, run vertically, and we've got these in two colors. We've got a brown, you can see, and these also come in white with black printing. Very, very striking, very beautiful. Um, these ones are called the school rulers, and you can see they run horizontally, and they come in two colors as well. They've got the black with white print, and then we also have this natural wood um, stain with black, print, black and red print on there. 
These rulers are really great. They are very sturdy, they're a thick wood. You can see they've got a stain finish. Some of them are painted and then they're just printed with these vintage graphics. And again, on this cute project, um, you can see that we attached one to a tray, so they look very, very cute on the tray around the edges there. You can put it there or maybe up here. Um, and they can be stuck on the trays with glue or you could use a small finish nail to nail them in there. Um, but most of the time, just an adhesive works just fine. But lots of fun on the trays, but of course, lots of other ways that you can use these vintage rulers in your projects. And we think they're a lot of fun. So that's it. That's what's the latest and greatest from Seven Gypsies. And we can't wait to see what you create.